from the Journal of Aphromos Long Journey, Pilgrim. With notes by Avos Tor, scholar of the Reeve Library. Ma Day, first cycle, seventh year, eighty first turn. Long Journey. My new name is Long Journey. The elders made their decision, and I am torn. There have been only two long journeys in the histories, one of whom became a hero. It is an honor to receive the name, and yet, and yet it feels like a banishment. I understand why the elders chose this quest for me. It's clear as day. One son has already failed in his quest. If I fail as well, my family may never recover. And so I become a pilgrim. I am to go forth until I find something that the clan needs, but does not have. If I find it, then I will earn my new name, and my family will be redeemed. And if I don't find it, if I don't come back, I will not be said to have failed. Either way, I cannot dishonor my family. The elders never said this, of course. They would not. They are too kind to do so. But I could see it in their eyes. They do not expect me to come back. And for my family, for my mother and my three fathers, I cannot. Not unless I complete my quest. It is hard what I must do. But it is necessary. At least I have until the solstice to prepare. While the other Conlins learn the basics of their new crafts, I will prepare myself, arrange supplies, and... I am sorry. I spilled my ink on that last part. I am distracted. I will write more tomorrow. Note, the next few entries deal with Aphromos's readying himself for his quest. There were few enough during the next thirteen cycles, and most of them were of a very personal nature, as Aphromos said goodbye to those around him. I hope I can be forgiven this sentimentality, but I felt it was best that these entries remain off this record. I will be skipping ahead to the beginning of his journey on the thirteenth cycle. Before I go any further, perhaps I could explain the calendar of the Barrow Nomads, where we divide the 420 days of the year into 14 months of three 10-day weeks. The Barrow Nomads have a much more complicated system. They divide the year into four seasons. The solstices and equinoxes are of cardinal importance to them. Important undertakings tend to begin on the equinoxes, whereas it's considered bad luck to start any new endeavor on solstices. Each season consists of its corresponding equinox, or solstice, and thirteen eight-day cycles. Spring solstice is the first day of the year. Turns are marked by the passing of the Windness Hawley Comet. The Burrow Nomads, not having a proper scientific grounding, call it the Bright Herald, and believe it brings news of a new turn to the world, or some such primitive superstition. Thus, a turn lasts roughly eighty-two and a third years. The eight days of the cycle are Ma Day, Sky Day, Rock Day, Bir Day, Skal Day, Erev Day, Tres Day, and Churro Day. You will therefore note that the next entry takes place Twelve cycles later, or ninety-six days, nine and a half weeks, may seem like a great deal of time to skip over, but trust me when I say that nothing of scholarly interest took place in that time.